Hello, internet. So today was a beautiful day as I woke up into a raging storm of rain in front of my eyes as I stood lonely in front of the window alone in my house and room. <sighs> so I thought, what better thing to do to debut some other cool ass units like Kiris? Ah, we're gonna be using her in every single one of our Guild War fights, and she will win every single one. I'm telling you, I have such a good team for her. You might have seen it before, it's the Unlimited Stun Team, and that thing wins a lot of games. These are her stats. Only reason why I have that much crit chance, it's because of this. It's a main stat crit chance one, so this is the fastest one I've got after building several other new units, like... I'll give you a sneak peek. It's somewhere, it's somewhere in this frame you see here but anyway today we have a guild war what is with the kiki rat today we're guild war against astraya go for the forest or towers that you're confident in beating up what if i'm not confident let's kill you we are gonna lose so here comes the first team it's a pretty generic you know thing i do it all the time they have an army we have no haste that's like giving your labrador to a dog enthusiast Leroy is there for the immunity and just you know residual damage on everyone we have no haste to take care of um rb we have ssv to also do residual damage on everyone and we should win but who cares about this first round we are all here for the second round and look Look at this. Two ML5s and, and a fire version of an ML5. And I'm going in with an average level of not even 50. The total stars we have is less than 15. I mean, awakened stars. But here we go. This is how it works. I mean, you've probably seen it before if you've seen my um, full team stun. But who rather goes first? We're going to strip everything. And we have a Bissell Crown on him. So if we proc it on k -Ron, it should be, you know, it's just way better. But I have the book on SVR of Info. That means after she moves, she'll stun and, you know, inflate all the burns and everything. We have Kyrus S3 into Solburn S2. And I'll explain as we go. What does she do? Because you're likely not going to know, right? And you're going to be like, oh, uh, Kyrus fucking fire, mate. You can't hit fire with grass realistically i can actually do that but i have oath key so here we go i'm actually less confident on the first fight than i am the second fight like that is actually a thing so teaser and ghost all right that's not too much damage i guess i would hope that this is not a lifesteal surin she did also be like my 17 and uh, my 217 speed the which 220 speed lifesteals teaser i've never seen a lot of those but let me nuke you that was FCC with new skin. That's like my first time seeing it. All right, so we should win now. <laughs> Let me just do this. Oh, you little pooping but Oh, you poop. And the gap. Wait, I was like, and the gap? I just saw a dream blade across my eyes and I was like, and the gap? I'm this traumatized, I'm telling you. Here comes the whale. This is like YDCD, but in game. Right, so we're touching you with the stick and you're just gonna do that. Okay. But now you're back. I have the barrier. You don't have the gap. So RB without the gap is like. Paris without baguettes. <laughs> Eat that up like a baguette. Now touch him. Touch him hard. <gasps> oh, come on, really? We might actually lose this, like, somehow. I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. Okay, what? You missed the crit on the... Uh, touch her. Just like that. Boom, there we go. <laughs> oh, come on, just... <laughs> you really have to do that? That was annoying. That was so annoying. But either way, now onto some actual like Park Champ ga gameplay right here. That is not Park Champ. Why did you outspeed Kyrus? Oh, we lost. Are you kidding me? Or maybe we are. We're fucked. I have to hope for so many luck to happen. I don't understand. How do you outspeed that? I'm gonna check my speed later. If it's like bullshit, then I'm just calling it hacks. Oh, god damn it. Why does this happen right now when I want to make a fucking video, you Fuck. But anyways, I'll explain it anyway. S3, if I do it, it changes what happens with S2 and S1. I extend any debuff duration by one. So with a sober, it ignores ER. So as you can tell, I was planning to do something quite funny. If they got stunned, and if Kyrus actually made sense with the speed, Kyrus would have go after um, SBR and then we would have seen like what? Three turns stun on everyone? It has a 100% win rate on the stream. What the fuck is wrong with you? First team. You know the drill pretty much. I'm like so confident this will work now because of the lack of um, k -Ron. But yeah, a -Ross might still screw things up, but let's just hope it doesn't happen. Second team. DJ Bizarre actually stays with his build because I'm, I'm meant to like go off meta this season. But yeah, so I'm keeping him. He's actually working okay. Well, just ignore these two. They're definitely off meta and definitely not balanced and needs a buff. What's gonna happen here? Cerise outspeeding or not, it doesn't matter. We take the debuff. We cleanse it with DJ Bizarre. We get a free turn on both veg lords. We nuke everything and everyone and every pixel. How did you even get this name? This is such a good name. I'm gonna devour you. Right, so that's a pretty quick F10, I'm not gonna lie, but doesn't matter. So all I gotta do is this. 
And there we go. This is what's meant to happen. SBR meant for outspeeding Kyrus. So here we go with the stuns. And then we did land the Abyssal Crown on the F10A2. And here we go. Boom. Everything should be stunned here. And yep, yep, we're gonna see it. <laughs> I did this on stream and everyone was like, I want to do this too. But nobody actually does it because it takes a lot inside you to actually control your finger. So they actually click the unequip button on your like F10A or Cerise and put it on Kyrus. But if you survive that... This is what you get. You get to stun them for three turns. We have OK, it's a fire unit. If we hit, it's already over. It's that simple. So here we go. And boom, there we go. We did hit that. Boom, done. Three turns stun, baby. Oh, yes. In RTA, I would have another Dizzy in my draft and then a spend. So if they ban like anyone, they pretty much kind of get fucked unless they have good you know, defense against debuffs, which isn't really hard. But up until now in silver, and in silver, well, it works. Smack him with your bald head. Now, all I have to do is to just burn everyone and then keep hitting landing. That's all I got to do. But honestly, it really doesn't matter at this point. I'm just going to do this. Let's just burn. Come on. Ah, no burns. Ah. Now I get to do this. Yep. Now it's over. Now it's over. You would say, oh, what if they stop getting stunned? Well, we pretty much just laughed them that much that they still would have one more turn of stuns. And here's what happens if they do. I get to sober it again. Ignore ER. So if it hits, which we do, I know they're stunned for three turns again. No turns taken. Well, uh, I guess this turn is taken, but it really doesn't matter. Because at this point, we have that many burns on them that they even like taking a turn would mean death for them. So, so yeah, <laughs> it's teamed up. Two limited, really strong units and... The main character of the lore dies to an L with bow and arrow, a monk, and a sassy mage. Uh. Right, now we already have the stun again. So as you can see, pretty much when Kyrus lands her S2, so we're on the first time, and if everyone is stunned, it's already over. If there's no people like Arvi and everything, but yeah. Ah, oh, that's satisfaction. Right, so you outspeed me, but DJ Basar is abs. Absolutely not gonna care. You would get that reference if you're cultured. There we go. I just realized, but we are running a team of Esplandos. Oh, and one of them is holding the baguette. Ah! Now that is a Vivian that can finally see cover. FCC skin is so cool, man. Ah, hell. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, heal up. Look at those heals. Touch you. All right, so all of them have the Crusade chance, so good luck. Oh, well, Arby died. I was so gonna cheer if I see them again, but never mind. We can just do this. Oh, the feeling of power. But no worries. I'm climbing back out. I'm not built Ori Koku Cannon. I'm, I'm not that deep in yet. And there we go. We have defeated Chocolate for killing the delicacies. Final fight, round one. We have actually someone new, but I'm, I'm meant to like make a new video for her, but I was planning to put Rylan here. And I was like, you know what? We've seen enough of this guy. So why not do something new? And it's either Landy or putting Ori Koku Cannon into the mix. And I clearly don't want to do the latter. So here's a mini view of my Landy. I want to show a stat or anything i'll show it when her video drops but here we go there's an rb we have the ml haste there's a dizzy we have the dj Basar, and there's landy to destroy everything eventually round two everything is going to be stunned let's go pillow pillow yes the rank 69 we're absolutely gonna get cut with dj Basar, here's what's good as i said he's probably meant to be like you know the clan uh, the cleanser and also the cr pusher and he's probably not meant to heal too much, which, you know what? We get a turn with ML Haste, we get a turn with Landy. Everything is going absolutely fine. Here we go. The first ever S3 recorded in my channel using Landy. At least on my side, I've been doing fire a lot. But here we go. Boom. There it is. He comes back. It's a 11.7k RB. That's a 10k Dizzy. Speaking of Dizzies, what the hell am I going to do in GG Cola? There's nothing I can do. I got all the units. Oh, well, I mean, I guess I can debut um, Elfel. Someone actually mentioned it. I think I'll work on that. I'll work on that. So yeah, just comment down below. Like, what sort of videos you want me to do? If I'm bored enough, I'll do them, so yeah. <laughs> I'll really do this has happened way too much, this freaking war. Arr! Oh, come on. That's like 91 crit chance, though. God. If this ends up being everyone versus Ray, this will take a long ass time. Maybe it won't, because Landy's here. Destroy them with a Gundam. I mean, don't, not con- not condom, you freaking- He is on Doctor's bag? Oh, no. Landy gets to finish this off perfectly. Honestly, once I use her- like, her playstyle, I love it. It's just, you know, it's kind of like RB, but with boobs. So they don't have immunity. Hmm. I'm still gonna do this. Right, Abyssal Ground on Node 3? Never mind. Here we go, we drop the Madara Meteor. If anyone gets 15%, then we instantly lose. 
Oh, but yeah, here's the fun part about this cop. If everyone gets stunned, it, it's, it's instantly my win. So here we go. Kiris, the little god of this cop. I guess Murado's actual god. But Kiris is pretty close to that. She's got that elf ear. Not gonna lie, she kind of hot. Here we go. And SC Kiris will probably break the game. And now it's just a game of waiting. But hey, we're bringing these kind of units against an ML5, a MILF, and a lost ant. This is absolutely worth it. Right, so boom. Now we talk this. More burns, more damage, and it's already game. We might be able to see Curious do it again. Right, here we go. Boom. Because we get so much souls, like with SBR and Midfall, like already we have 20 already. So yeah, it's just in time when Curious gets to do the S2, S3, S2 again. I have just enough to do it again. There we go. Boom. I have just enough to soul burn, so ignore ER. If I hit, I'm guar I guarantee that I know. The debuffs are gonna go for more, more and more turns. Like before, I was trying so hard to play like an orthodoxly. So I thought these kind of teams were pretty normal. Now that I've like went an entire season with just edge lords and freaking, you know, just cancers. And I'm just impressed with myself now. What? How did I even thought about this? I did it. I beat them up. Right, so I'll show my stats for the the you know the entire team that I use. Just as an advice, do not recreate what I'm trying to do. It really doesn't make sense. This cure is just pure speed, 246. I'll actually have to check SBR means the speed as well. 254. So that's a good eight speed difference there. It's not that good, but eh. It's the best I can do for now. And we have Furado right here. I'll show the land I'll show Landy stats like um Later on when I actually make a video for her, but that is all for today. Leave a like and just subscribe to my channel. Have yourselves a wonderful day. And comment down below what you want me to do next. And if I'm bored enough, I'll do them.